All right, let's do this, Nola. What do you say? Let's do this thing. Note to self, do this book tag earlier in the year. Oh, I love you. Every time I turn on the camera, he wants my attention, I'm telling you. Go get it. Okay, let's switch the books that you're teetering on. It's me, Jess, and Nola. Hey, Nola. <laughs> I am here on this very gray, rainy, dark day. It is very, very dark out there. And I'm here to do the end of the year book tag. So got my pile here, and let's go through the questions. I don't know. I need to do something about the height of this. I need to prop her up on something. Maybe. I'll prop you up on some more books. How about that? This will be an interesting balancing feat. Hopefully. Cool. <laughs> oh, it's a little wobbly. <laughs> okay. Don't wobble, y'all. Don't. I'll try not to wobble the table. Those are really just balanced here. <laughs> just balanced. Okay, let's see. What are the questions? This is an original tag by Ariel Bissett. Love her. She now lives in my home province of Nova Scotia. I'd like to watch her original video. I haven't watched her original video from 2021. That's not from that long ago, actually. Huh. So the first question for the end of the year book tag, and I think that this is meant to have been done perhaps a little sooner than the 1st of December. <laughs> perhaps. But as with everything, I'm always behind. So I always get things done, but I always get things done a little bit later than everybody else. The first question, are there any books that you started this year that you need to finish? So I have an embarrassing number of books that I started this year that I would like to finish. Need is a whole other level of desire, I will admit. So I picked out two that were on my November TBR that I've started in November, but that I have sadly not finished by the end of November, but I'm still determined to finish by the end of the year, which is going to be iffy because if you've been with my channel, you'll have seen that I'm participating in the Reindeer Readathon and I made a TBR for the Reindeer Readathon that I really want to make sure I read those books to get all of the points for my team. So I don't know where everything's going to land this year. We'll see. There are only so many hours in the day, right? So the two books that I really need to finish by the end of this year, the first is Hamnet, which, oh my gosh, I'm enjoying it so much. A lot of people said I would really like it, and I don't know why it's taking me so long to get to it, but it just is one of those things. I'm about 120 pages in, and I have a feeling that it won't be too difficult for me to finish it <laughs> as long as I can, you know, manufacture time. <laughs> so there's that one. And then the other one that I really want to finish, which I'm actually doing quite well, you can see I'm more than, I should be holding it this way, I'm more than halfway for this book. I'm at page 249 of The Master and Margarita, and I really want to finish this one. It should be okay for me to manage that, I think, because I'm listening to it on audiobook. So I'm really hoping to finish this one as well. So those are the two that I really want to finish by the end of this year. Fingers crossed. Everybody, don't hold your breath out there, <laughs> but keep your fingers crossed for me. Next question. Do you have an, an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Oh my gosh. I really, really don't. This is a, clearly a book tag that you're supposed to be doing in autumn. And I just like fail, fail on that one. Uh, next year, maybe I'll do it in autumn. <laughs> do I have an autumnal book? Not really. I feel bad. I'm trying to think of anything on my December TBR is particularly autumnal. I don't think so. Fail. Let's see. You're balanced on my pile. I'm going to have to move you to get to see if I have an autumnal book. I really don't. I'm not going to try to make it work. I do not. <laughs> okay. The next question is, is there a new release that you're still waiting for? It's December 1st. The answer to that one is also no. So I'm really failing. But I will say that there's a release that came out in 2022 that I haven't read yet that I've been wanting to read since the spring. Uh, the Sea of Tranquility, out in hardcover. It's been unavailable at my library. 
I guess I'm waiting for it to come out in paperback and maybe it will come out in paperback in the in this month and if it does it will be everything it will take all of my composure and power and willpower to not buy it for myself uh, because I've been wanting to read that one since it came out in hardcover and I know it's mixed reviews but I, I think it's a sequel to The Glass Hotel so I read and really enjoyed The Glass Hotel really at the beginning of my YouTube journey and I had it as one of my selections for the Taylor Swift inspired readathon Tis the Damn Readathon which takes place in March that's my most anticipated read that I haven't read yet <laughs> that's still waiting for it to come out in paperback so I think that qualifies uh, so no no massive fail on that one so next question what are three books you want to read before the end of the year so I have more than three books that I want to read before the end of the year and there are books that are in my TBR for the reindeer readathon one of which I started and I'm, I'm fully enjoying yeah these are probably the ones that I most want to read for the end of the year sleeping car porter which I've started already definitely my Daphne du Maurier pick because I always read a Daphne du Maurier book once you at this time of year so absolutely for sure and I really want to read early morning riser this is not typically my style of book but I've heard so many good things about it that I'm kind of curious if it's going to be a read that I really enjoy given that it's a romance it's like a small town heartfelt romance. A charming, witty, and heartwarming novel about life and love in a small town that is destined to improve your mood. That's good when it's dark out, right? And restore your faith in humankind. Okay, yes. Okay, so those are the three that I'm determined, 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 determined to read. I have other books on my TBR and hopefully I'll get to more than just those, but those for sure I want to read by the end of the year and I'd like to finish Hamnet and The Master Margarita for sure. Can you not eat my wall? I, does anybody else have a dog, have a problem with their dogs eating their house? The problem with these rainy, rainy days, <laughs> and I mean really rainy days, like torrential rain, is that... They're difficult when it comes to taking the dog out because I don't mind so much the dog getting wet, but the mud situation is a situation beyond my capacity to manage. So the poor guy gets kind of stuck inside and um, he's none too happy. So those are the three books that I want to read before the end of the year. The next question, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year. Oh my gosh. Is there a book that could become my favorite book of the year? I really feel like any of those three are contenders. Any of these three are contenders for favorite book of the year potentially, but favorite book of the year, are we serious? I don't even think I can pick a favorite book of the year. I usually do my best 10, my top 10. It's very difficult for me to pick a favorite book of the year. One book that I do think might surprise me that's on my TBR for the Reindeer Readathon is Clara and the Sun. And I'm not really sure why, because I know that people have had mixed reactions to this book. But yeah, I think Clara and the Sun could surprise me. So this is a funny question because is, is there a book you think that could shock you? I think if this became like one of my top books of the year, that would be a bit of a shock because I've heard not so great things about it as well. So this is one of those ones where I just don't know. I don't know if it's going to be fantastic or if it's going to be not for me. So we shall see. Last question. Have you already started making reading plans for next year? Well, in fact, it's funny, Ariel, that you should have included that question in your tag. Funny you should ask. I do have some plans already for 2023. I've been thinking about what am I going to do in the beginning of the year, and I do have some ideas, and I do have some ideas about things that I definitely want to read next year. So the first that I will talk about is the contribution that I made every end of the year we go around and everybody picks a, a book club pick so my book club pick for this coming year 2023 is Small Pleasures by Claire Chambers I've been wanting to read this for quite some time so I'm very pleased it's going to be the February pick for my book club not like my YouTube book club but like the book club that I do with real people in the real world this is about 
1957 in the suburbs of southeast London. Jean Swinney, who is a journalist for a local paper, trapped in a life of duty and disappointment from which there is no likelihood of escape. A young woman, Gretchen Tilbury, contacts the paper to claim that her daughter is the result of a virgin birth. This is, this sounds so good. This book sounds so good. I'm excited to read it. Anyway, if you've read this one, let me know. I'm sure some of you watching have already read it. So let me know. Very excited to read that. And then I had mentioned in my book haul, my most recent book haul, that I got a beautiful copy of Middlemarch. And that Middlemarch was one of the books that my dad had always recommended to me. So I definitely think Middlemarch is gonna be like one of the big classic books that I read in 2023. It's definitely gonna be on my goals. One of my goals for 2023 would be to read Middlemarch. Very excited about that. Uh, the other two classics that I really feel like I absolutely have to get to is Stoner, which was also in that book haul, and a lot of people have told me it was really great. And also, I haven't read any James Baldwin, which is just truly pathetic of me. <laughs> and so James Baldwin is also on my list for 20, early 2023. I also want to read Toni Morrison because I can't believe I didn't get to them this year. They were both on my classics to read for 2022 list at the beginning of last year. So I really got sidetracked on that. I guess I got really more swayed towards the Russians. <laughs> that for sure. And then I was thinking about the idea of doing some thematic reading during the year. A lot of the prize winning books over the last few years are books that I've not read, in particular the Booker Prize. And I have the 2021 winner, The Promise by Damon Galgett. And I also have Shucky Bain, which is the 2020 Booker Prize winner. And then the 2023 Booker Prize winner, which was, I thought I could do, I mean, it's, that's kind of a lot to do in one vlog, but I thought maybe I could do like one a month in my TBR, at least for the last three years in the first part of 20. 23. I also haven't read the Ruth Ozeki. I haven't read the women's prize winning books from the last two years, so that's, I'll get them. It's very strange. I have a memory of having bought Paranisi, but may, I can't find it, so maybe I never bought it. But I did pick up Ruth Ozeki's The Book uh, of Form and Emptiness. I, again, mixed reviews about this one. I read A uh, Tale for the Time Being and loved, loved, loved it. So I feel like it might, I might vibe with it. So that is another one that I want to read in 2023. So thinking about doing a little bit of a catch up on the women's prize. I'm having read Hamnet, then reading uh, Piranesi, and then uh, Ruth Ozeki. Yeah, I was thinking those are some of my ideas for what I'm going to do in 2023. And that's it. That is the full tag. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye! And that is Hillary Man uh, St. John Mandel. Hillary St. John Mandel? Oh, uh, excuse you! Excuse you, feel like dancing? You feel like dancing? You feel like dancing? Hey, I, I never know how to get this dog off of me. Ow! What? Get a toy! Get a toy! I am not your toy, bud. Is there a new... Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to talk over the squeaky toy. That's what I'm gonna do that. Nola, I really don't want you to eat my wall. He's gonna be the death of me.